Known for her wealth of knowledge, she is a guiding light when it comes to mentoring and coaching other HR professionals and elevate their HR skills and career. Let me introduce you to Claire Cathcart. So welcome to the show, Claire Cathcart. Have I got your name right? And I never left HR and it's been a it's been a great career so far. I've worked for some amazing companies. I spent a long time at TUI, the holiday company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I loved it there. So the world of um, leisure and the travel industry. And in, in more recent years, I've been working for kind of smaller businesses. So mm-hmm. 250 employees, very different to the, yeah. the big corporate yeah. world. You talk about culture, you talk about personal development, recruitment, strategy. Wow. You've, you've, you've done it all by the looks of it. So where should we start with that? What, what do you reckon some of the good leadership qualities are? At this point, I was working for a global organisation with 19,000 employees. Is that how do you move from being a HR advisor to a HR business partner? And it really came down to being more proactive. So HR mm-hmm. advisor, very reactive, dealing with manager queries, employee queries. And then you move into the HR business partner space, which is more proactive. You're creating your own work essentially and you're definitely operating in a much more strategic space. Because I often say to people that in HR we think of them as being this unit in this, uh, uh, you know, from outer space and uh, they're not human um, in the sense that they're not employees. Everyone in HR is an employee themselves. I think um, in HR we don't make life easy for ourselves when it comes to job titles. The job title will vary depending on the size of the company, the industry you're in, the culture of that business. So you can't always look at a job description or a job advert Mm -hmm. of a HR business partner and just think, yes, I know exactly what they do because the roles vary so much. Everybody's entitled to a voice but yet we all obviously have different job roles. I mean, where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line on that? I mean, is it the case of getting everyone together and saying feeding in, then it goes back up to the board or does it come top down in a company? And I say this a lot and every person is different. So I think as a HR leader managing a team of people, you must recognise those differences. Mm -hmm. So everyone will want something different from you. The amount of one-to-ones you have, the style, is it coaching, is it mentoring? And I think, so one of the, I guess, to answer your question, one of the key skills as a HR leader is being adaptable. What, is there a difference between saying you're head head of HR or you're head of people? I was expecting the annual employee engagement survey. Mm -hmm. I've personally done focus groups to get kind of more qualitative data and information from people. And you're right, working in HR, we do have um, very privileged access to conversations with employees that other um, managers may not have. 